Back to News Channel 3, State Senator John Prose co-sponsored bills that would ban bridge cards from being used at strip clubs, liquor stores, and casinos. That legislation has been sent to the House for consideration. And Senator Prose joins us now live in studio to talk more about that bill as well as a bill about human trafficking. Good morning to you, Good Senator. Morning. So what prompted you to co-sponsor this legislation concerning bridge card abuse? What have you seen? Uh, more than anything else, it's, it's what each of us has seen in our districts and our communities. Uh, I'm sure your listeners and viewers today look at this and say, boy, I've been in line with somebody that used a bridge card to buy booze or been in line and watched somebody else in front of me buy by food that you wouldn't think made much sense when in fact it's supposed to be for for food assistance or what have you and unfortunately there's just stories of abuse all over the place with the bridge cards themselves and cash assistance that then is used unfortunately at strip clubs and at racetracks and, and 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 for liquor and things like that you know we need to be there for those that are less fortunate i think we can all agree that that a hand up is a good thing on occasion uh... and get people back on their feet when they hit those rough patches in life but this is a really sad situation that, that we have to even consider bills like this. Mm -hmm. uh, but the federal government's insisting upon it too. We're, we're at risk of losing about $37 million in funding for those that are in need if we don't fix some of the laws that, that relate to this. We administer the program, the federal government helps to pay for it. Perfect example of this, earlier this week we did a story about a strip club in the Ionia area where on the digital billboard it said, you know, lap dances, bridge card can be used for lap dances. When you heard about that, how did you feel? Well, at, first off, your report then had him, that particular owner, saying it was all to point out how bad the bridge card abuse is. Either way, whether or not that was the truth or not makes no difference. What matters to us is that those who deserve and need those benefits for that short period of time to get back on their feet, we ought to be there for them. And we ought to make sure that the, the program works so that our hardworking tax dollars are used in an effective manner so that it, in fact, is not abused. And I, it's hard to even fathom that our tax dollars, whether they be our federal dollars or our dollars here in the state of Michigan, would be used at strip clubs for lap dances. It just... It just strikes one as, a, as an awfully bad situation and if we can put the right structures in place we ought to do that and that's what we did this past week with the senator jones bills that passed in a bipartisan way republicans and democrats agree that that can't continue sounds like much needed legislation absolutely, absolutely. now you're also working on legislation that combats human trafficking in Michigan. A lot of people think human trafficking in Michigan, there's no way, but it does happen here. Well, it does happen, and we have an international border. I mean, that's something that we forget, too, because Canada, being a trading partner and a good friend, is just a few hours down the road, and the I-94 corridor is such a, a heavily trafficked area for human trafficking, and human trafficking leads to lots of serious problems, destruction of families, the loss of individuals' lives are completely destroyed in this process, and I'll tell you, most of it is in the sex trade, though, too. Mm. That's what we've learned about human trafficking itself. So what we're doing, working with Senator Judy Emmons and some others in the, le in the legislature, it's, a, again, a bipartisan group of legislators uh, in the Senate that are working on multiple bills. I think it's upwards of 17 bills. I have three of them. And, uh, for example, let's say one of uh, our daughters or, or one of our local, our local young ladies gets trafficked. Um, she's convicted of crimes that she committed while being trafficked and coerced into doing the things that she's doing, let's say it's prostitution. When we find out later that she, in fact, has been a victim of human trafficking, shouldn't we be able to remove that from her permanent record? Absolutely. Once it's identified that, in fact, she's been coerced into doing so. So my bill allows for the expungement of one's record in the court system so that they can clear their name when, in fact, they were coerced in doing so. Uh, but, of course, the courts need to be involved in all of this, and we need to be better aware, which is one of the reasons why we've put this package together, so that we can all spot the signs and help to decrease the, the incidence of human trafficking in Michigan. Senator, you're working on some great stuff. Thank you for joining us this Appreciate morning. Appreciate the time. Thank you. All right. Coming up